Up next, a do-it-yourself soil test for the handy guy. All right, Brian, so what we're gonna talk about today is really about getting ready for the, the mowing season. It's coming up. We all wanna have a good, healthy soil and a green lawn. Right, right. And right. you know, you can go to your home center and buy a soil test kit. Mm -hmm. Because after all, right. you should test your soil to find out if it's too acidic or not acidic enough. And what fertilizers it does need. So exactly. you're not putting on things that you don't need throughout the year. Right. Or you could find perhaps from a state university, they may have an extension program where you can send in uh, some soil samples and you really should collect soil samples from different areas of your lawn. Right. And, and if then, you're doing your you know, lawn down below the, just below the roots, you know, three or four inches down. Uh, is where you want to pull that soil from. Right, so the idea is, you know, they will do a more, uh, supposedly they do a better test, you have to wait for it and all that. Right, but we're going to do a quick and dirty test today <laughs> just for soil pH, and I've never done this before, so we're going to see if this works, but using household ingredients. Right, household ingredients, we're going to test the soil uh, clay from my <laughs> lawn, clay. because this isn't topsoil, this is clay, my whole lawn is clay. Uh, they well, took away to the do topsoil. About that, Paul. Yeah, that's another episode. <laughs> but we're going to test it for the pH balance. I kind of know where I think it's going to be, and this will tell me if I should be, add lime, for instance, because just fertilizing it isn't enough. If th that doesn't provide the pH balance that your your your, your lawn dirt wants, needs, right? Yeah, that your lawn wants to have the, the, the healthiest. Typically, lawn. grass wants a neutral pH. In other words, okay. it's not too alkaline and it's not too acidic. Now, other plants, uh, blueberry bushes, hydrangeas, things right. like that, they like highly acidic soils. Or non-acidic, depending on or the plant. Or non-acidic, depending on the plant, right. And in the soil test kit, they give you, you know, hundreds and hundreds of different plants and what their ideal right. pH is. And you can find all that on the internet as well. Right. But we're just talking about lawns right. here. We're going to do a quick test. So we're not even going to use this over-the-counter test. Well, we're maybe we're we'll, using I'm all gonna, this stuff. We're going to use this stuff. I'm going right. to send you out for some more dirt. We're going to try, maybe we'll try that right. pH test and see if it... This should be enough dirt. We'll split it up, try a couple different tests. Let's go. Let's see what happens. You want to do the contact information first? Uh, that's a good point. While you're getting the test kit ready, I will hand out the contact information, which is you can always email us at us at handyguyspodcast.com. Subscribe to us on youtube.com slash handyguyspodcast. And you can find us on Twitter at twitter.com slash handyguys. That's right and Facebook at facebook.com, The Handy Guys. That's correct. So essentially what we're gonna do, Paul, is two tests. The first test will determine if it's alkaline, and that uses vinegar, and we'll test for acidity using baking soda. Okay. So I've divided your soil sample up in half. So we just so have to add vinegar just, to the soil? Just pour some vinegar in there. And what would we expect if it's alkaline? you're gonna get bubbles if this is alkaline. So we're gonna just pour some vinegar in there and we're just, gonna mix it up and right. dissolve that soil in there and see if it bubbles. All right, you got this camera guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. I don't know no, how wait, much wait, wait. This isn't gonna explode or anything. No, 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 no. It's not a it's, volcanic it's, reaction or something? Well, I think if we pour the two together, that's right. like eighth grade science, yeah. right? That's what I don't want. All right, so I need, do I need to cover yeah, it? Yeah, that's just, good, yeah. Just I'd All say right. put the lid on, let's just shake it up and oh, see what happens. Oh, uh, okay. Like, just so it dissolves right, just, that soil in there. Okay. So let's get a close-up on the camera. And, and I'm not seeing any bubbles other than the air that you just added me from shaking it. But otherwise, it's pretty just flat. Pretty flat. Okay. All right. That's the vinegar. Okay. So now what? So that tells me if the test is right. It's not alkaline. alkaline. Okay. But so that pH... doesn't mean that it's acidic either. <laughs> right. We it have to could do the mean other... that it's, it's neutral. Good. Right, neutral. So that, that means it would have what, a low pH balance or a high? <laughs> you get it backwards. <laughs> I don't know. We'll put it on the screen. We, <laughs> we always... uh, if that bubbles, it's alkaline. Right. So if this test bubbles, okay. it's acidic. And that means I need to add lime. That's what I know. This is what I expect. This is going to bubble. So, Paul, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this sample because the baking soda is dry. Okay, so for this one, you're adding baking soda. Baking soda. All right. Right out of the kitchen. My wife doesn't even know it's So gone. you're going to make a little mud pie here. I'm going to make a little mud pie, so let me just... <laughs> All right. So, so when we add this baking soda, mm -hmm. we should see bubbles unless this soil is perfect. Perfectly neutral. That's probably enough. All right. I don't know. 
right. So mix it up. Is this see legal? What happens. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I see nothing. <laughs> well, um, that's all right. That's probably all right. You think you think my soil is good? I think your soil is relatively neutral. Okay. So maybe my treatments in the recent years of lime have, have set my soil up to be in good shape. So I'm ready to go. My clay, I should say. Your clay, right. All right. So this is just a simple test you can do at home. It's probably not going to be as complete as sending it off to your you extension <laughs> or, or doing one of these home kits. But, um, you know, it'd be interesting to see if, you know, you could try it out yourself. And let us know uh, how it works for you. All right. Now for comparison's sake, we're going to take a commercial test kit and Brian is going to check the acidity, is that what it is? Acidity. Acidity, yeah, I can't even talk. Of this soil, he's got, there's a little t capsule uh, you put in there and there's a test strip and he's gonna add distilled water. Let's see how this compares to our homemade kits. All right, I need the little eyedropper that's in that package over there, Paul. Okay. All right, you wanna hold that up so the camera can see it a little better? Let me move this out of the way. All right, so we're adding the distilled water. Do you have the test strip in there? The uh, That's this little okay. thing here. We're going to read the color off of this after we're done Okay, so you're going to have to get water in there, then you shake it up after we put the cap on, of course. There you go. Pour that tight. Oops. So what you do with this particular kind of test kit, they have tests for pH, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and you can test for each of those elements. So when you're applying your fertilizer, you know how much right. of each to apply. So we did this commercial test, and you can see that the soil is slightly acidic. It was probably yes. not acidic enough for the home test kit to really right. show its stuff, but it's slightly acidic, so I could probably add some, some lime, right? You could probably add some lime, yes. So there you have it. Test your soil. If it's very acidic or not acidic enough, you're not going to have as healthy of a lawn or grass. You're not going to be able to compete with the neighbors and shame them <laughs> right. with your green lawn. So, uh, and try it. We'd love to hear from you. Try the home test kit, see if it works. Otherwise, go ahead and get a commercial kit or talk to your local extension service from your university. That's all we got this time. We're the Handy Guys. Thanks. Thanks.